Okay, in this video, it is now time for us to do our six month banana wine tasting. Hi, I'm Charles, and welcome to DIY Fermentation, your site for doing fermentation on a shoestring budget. Okay, six months ago when I started making this banana wine, I have to admit, first of all, I never heard of banana wine, okay? That was that was number one. The second thing was that when I was making it, uh, it was probably one of the more unappealing looking wine stacks to go through the initial preparation stage <laughs> that I had ever run across. I wasn't too sure about this one, but uh, as time went on, time things got better. This was the first wine that I was able to bottle in only six, oh, take that back. This was the first wine that I was able to bottle in only eight weeks. It went from start to bottle in only eight weeks. During that eight week process, the wine is very, very clear. There is no sediment at all on the bottom of the uh, bottom of the bottle. It, it has remained clear, which is a good thing. It's got nice color, but all in all, I was still a little uh, still a little weary about what banana wine was going to taste like uh, when I posted uh, the initial video. Uh, some of my friends on the Facebook side of the, of the equation uh, kind of der derided me a little bit because they had never heard of banana wine either. But hey, six months later, let's go ahead and give this one a shot. Okay. Hmm. Let's see what we got here. Just a little bit. The wine was back sweetened uh, prior to bottling. It does have the banana aroma. It's not a strong banana uh, smell, but it does have that banana aroma. And you can also, yes, you can also smell the alcohol. This one came in at 14.9% ABB, so it's, it's, got, it's got a little kick to it. All right, I won't drag this one out for too long because I want to find out what banana wine is all about. Okay. Well, of course, like with all wines, six months in, it's not quite ready. Uh, this wine will take at least a full year before it will be ready. Uh, it's got good mouthfeel. It's not, it's not a thin wine by any means. Hmm. Still too early to tell. Six months is not quite enough time for this wine. I think it's got potential, but it's not quite enough, not enough time. This was the first wine that I used a, a combination or, or a half and half mixture of, of brown sugar and, and, and regular white sugar. I think uh, at the one year mark, when I do the uh, actual one year tasting, if I do make it again, uh, I probably go with, uh, with with all brown sugar. It's got good color. I mean, there's no doubt about that. I do like the fact that it is very clear. There's no sediment at all. So to touch on the dry side, uh, probably could use just some additional back sweetening just to make it more of a sweeter wine. I mean, you can do that really at any point in time. I mean, fermentation had stopped. Uh, this was one of the first wines. No, this was, yeah, one of the first wines that I made during that first initial batch of wines that I made where um, 
I wasn't using a step back feeding method where you would uh, basically check the uh, hydrometer reading uh, between rackings and uh, determine whether or not that if adding additional sugar, uh, whether or not the reading had changed uh, from that racking to several weeks down the road. And uh, this one I think I used, in fact, I know I used xylitol, which was a, a non-formidable sugar. Uh, so I don't know if adding additional sugar for me is going to really be helpful. Uh, well, it would be helpful because I can do it, I can add it to the bottle. Uh, more of a simple syrup solution if I wanted to have some additional sweetening. Uh, but in terms of uh, cracking open the other, the other four bottles and adding sugar at this point in time, no, that's not going to happen because more than likely fermentation will probably restart. So that's not a, that's not a doable idea. So, I mean, it's not dry. Okay, it's not a bone dry wine or anything like that. It's got, it's got sweetness. It's got sweetness. But as far as a banana wine is concerned, um, it's actually not too bad, even at six months. I really am gonna wait until that one year period before I open up any of the, any of the other bottles. Uh, for tasting. It's not going to be like some of my wines where <laughs> I'd be lucky if I if I can save a bottle for one year. But no, this one will probably uh, uh, go the one year mark uh, for the remaining four bottles. I'm in no hurry. Uh, I was just kind of curious about the taste of a banana wine. And it goes down fairly easy, but there's still that, that, uh, uh, small level of harshness because the wine hasn't uh, fully under, undergone uh, malactic uh, uh, tr uh, transformation yet. There's still a lot of malic acid uh, in there. So we're waiting for that to go ahead and, and, and mellow out. But no, this is not bad. This is not bad. This is a short video, but uh, no, it's it has potential. Okay, it does have potential. But we're gonna have to wait until the uh, one year tasting to find out whether or not this is really a good wine. So far, it's not bad, okay? It, 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 I can see where the wine is going and it's, it's really not bad. So there we go. Uh, the banana wine, 14.9% ABB, six month tasting. Uh, I'll have a link probably in the, uh, in the uh, end screen for the initial video showing me making the uh, banana wine and any other links uh, to uh, to Amazon that uh, that you might want to peruse. Of course, I am an Amazon affiliate. So again, there we go. Banana wine, six months in.